What's happening, YouTube? What's happening? It's your boy Lazy back again with another video. Y'all, I, I had to, I ain't had to chop off the fro, but um, I had seen um, I was watching one of my old music videos, and when I had a um, when I had my brush cut, you feel me? But it was it was more thicker than this. I had my my waves was you know swimming, and I'm just looking at that shit. I'm like, damn boy, I look good with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I was thinking about it. And then my mama, she was like, man, you might as well just cut your hair. You feel me? You look way much better. And then I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I might get it braided. So, you know, I went to work and I was just um talking to one of my, um a female coworker. And like, she was like, man, she'll, she'll think um I look better with it. You know what I'm saying? I took that into consideration. Cause you know females they be knowing like they be knowing certain especially about the physical they be knowing what's what you know what i'm saying so i done chopped it off on um, right now i don't got no ways but y'all gonna start seeing me doing videos with my dual rag if you if you stroll down my on um, my catalog you'll see you'll see the ways i used to be brushing 24 7. but um anyways man i'm about to uh if you're new to this channel like you feel me? Subscribe. You know, I talk about various things. Chosen one content, semi member content. Um, content. Um, I talk about God. I believe in God. If you don't believe in God, you shouldn't even be on this. Just like, go, go somewhere else with it. But anyways, man, um, I'm a, I'm gonna get to the series. You know what I'm saying? You guys, some of you guys like the um the Libra, the Libra female series. So I'm gonna do the Curse female series. You know, oh, you feel me? While I was on semi retention. All right, let me just start it off how this shit went out. All right, this is how this shit started, y'all. Okay. Um, I'll say about like two years ago, this is how this shit happened. Uh, two years ago, I pulled up to the liquor store, you feel me? Um, I'm sitting in my car, you feel me? And um, it's a car, it's a car right, it's right, parked right next to me. It's two females in the, you feel me? And I'm just sitting in my car like, because the liquor store looked kind of packed and I ain't want to just... Go in there, you feel me? Sometimes I just be going in there, but, and I was just chilling in my car. So I'm listening to music or whatever. I see two females get out. You know what I'm saying? It was it was the curious female and her cousin. So I'm looking at them. I'm just, all right, cool. But I ain't trying to go in the store because, I don't know. I just ain't going in the store when they was in the store. So a dude, he goes in the store, you feel me? And um, I'm just sitting in my car, I'm like, yeah, that nigga, he finna holler, you feel me? Cause both of the females, they ain't ugly, you feel me? That what niggas do. So, you know, they come out, they come back outside the store, they get in the car. And then the dude, he get in the car, he get in his car, you feel me? So he 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 pull he pulls out and then he he tried to holler at these fe at these females in his car. And then I just started laughing because I like me personally, that was lame, you feel me? If you really wanted to holler at them, you should have hollered at the store, you feel me? Show show like you you ain't scared to approach them. And um, so as me laughing, the crazy female, she looks in my car and she's doing this. She's telling me to pull down my window. So I pull down my window and um, she like, what's funny? I'm like, dude, dude funny. Cause um, you know, the way he tried to holler at y'all, man, he, he he did it wrong. And then she was like, yeah, that, that nigga lame, you feel me? So in the midst of that, we chopping it up a little bit. The queries tell me to jump in their car, you feel me? Now, mind y'all, I be on some crazy shit, you feel me? I promise I be on some crazy shit. So I jumped I jumped in her car, you feel me? I'm in the backseat, her cousin and her, you feel me? They in the front, whatever, with the whoop. Now, we talking, we talking. And you know the courage speed me off rip. She like, man, I I I like your energy, but it's something different about you. And then she had a big bottle of Hennessy, you feel me? And then she like, you wanna you wanna sip? She she pulled me a little cup, start drinking with her a little bit. <clears throat> and then like she was like, they finna go um do like they finna go ride around and go do something with the wood. And she like, do you wanna come? And I was like, mm, yeah, fuck, I'll come. You feel me? Fuck it. I don't know these people from a can of paint. So I like, all right, I'm finna park my car up. So I jump in my car. I swear to God, bro, I'm not even lying. Bro, the first thing I did, I, I prayed. I said, God, I know I'm about to do something foolish, but please watch over me. 
I parked my car up. It's about six o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. I parked my car up, jump in a car. We riding around. You feel me? They doing whatever they doing. And um they smoking whoop the whoop. And um and I and that whole time, you feel me? We we vibing, we chilling, talking, you feel me? I'm talking to the courage female whoop the whoop. So we get back, it's around like eleven o'clock, we get back to my car. And um Curry's female, I, I guess she she was choosing. She, man, she was choosing me, fam. She was choosing me. And she was like, well, follow us. We got to go to the park. You feel me? So, all right, cool. We get to the park. And um, now, mind you, the other girl, she her dude was with her or whatever. So, I'm meeting her, Curry's female. We chopping up. About 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. 3 o'clock. So, I'm like, I'm like, man, I can't go home. You feel me? I ain't finna go home. Because... I ain't got time for the Haitians to be talking shit. Cause I had just like, you feel me, moved to my daddy house. You feel me? I just moved. So I know my daddy probably he gonna be like, man, you can't be doing this crazy shit, boy. You just got here like two days and you you ain't coming home type shit. So I was like, man, fuck it. I'm finna um I'm finna go. I'm finna go, I'm finna go by my job and sleep at my job. Cause you know, I, I keep like I keep extra shit in my car, like, you know, boxes, you feel me? Um Toothpaste, toothbrush, or whatever, deodorant, just in case. I don't know. I just be keeping shit like that just in case if I got to go to a hotel room or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, now I'm telling the Aquarius people, man, I'm about to go to my job and lay my head. You feel me? She, this is what she said. She, she said, I'm lying. You feel me? So, I'm like, man, you ain't got to believe me, man. And she was like, I'm coming with you. All right, like, cool. You can come. Fried shit, right? So now I drive by, I drive to um by my job, park it up, and kid you not, bro, we we fell asleep in the car. We fell asleep in the car, you feel me? Now the AC was piping and shit, you know. I I had like a little, I think a, a big ass jacket or a blanket I put on her. You feel me? Woke up around like six o'clock, and um I dropped her off. You feel me? And she was like, I'm gonna call you, text you, with the whoop. Now mind you. It been like two, three days. I ain't hear from this person now. And I'm like, what the fuck going on? You feel me? So I'm calling her phone and go straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail. So I hit her up on WhatsApp. We got her contact again. And then, like, honestly, she was like, man, I, th I remember you. I remember your net tattoos. I had seen you at the store before. I had got your number and I blocked it because I felt like you was toxic. You feel me? That's what she said. She said she felt like I was toxic. And then after that, me and Aquarius, female, we were just, she was coming up. She was like, my, I was on semen retention too, y'all. I was on semen retention and I didn't want to tell her that shit. So, you know, it was like, I said like five days later, she picked me up. We riding around, you know, drinking a little bit, smoking, chilling. And then um, she was telling me to like do something to her, you feel me? Like on some sexual shit. Now, mind you, I don't, I don't know this female, you feel me? So I'm like, nah, man, I ain't finna do that shit. Like, I'm telling her, like, nah. So she was like, man, you must be gay. You don't see how thick I am? You see how? But I'm like, mm, uh, I don't really know you like that, you feel me? Like, I, I couldn't, like, really, how can I say it? How can I say that shit, you feel me? And plus, I'm gonna send me retention. I ain't let her know until, like, later on during her life, you feel me? So, um... She just kept coming back and coming back and communicating with me, communicating with me. And, um, yeah, that's how I really um, met the Aquarius female. But it's gonna, this is going to be a series, y'all. This is going to be a series. Um, This, this is going to be a great series. If you guys like the Libra female, bro, y'all going to like the Aquarius female because this, this one right here is this crazy-ass story. Um, But uh, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to make a part two. Deuces.